Hi all. In this video, let's learn about what is package manager and which package manager we need to choose between NPM and YARN. So let's, uh, firstly, what's a package manager? So package manager is nothing but it's a tool which helps us to handle the project dependencies, such as installing the dependencies, uninstalling, upgrading the versions, downgrading the versions, project settings, and running the scripts. So all this will be maintained by the package manager. So the famous package managers are like NPM and YARN. So let's check about these two things. So coming to the popularity. So this is a Google trend. So NPM and YARN. So by this chart, we can clearly observe that YARN has the more popularity. Coming to the GitHub stars. So NPM has 5K stars, whereas YARN has 40.2K stars. Even in terms of GitHub stars as well, YARN has a more popularity. That's fine. Okay. Now let's get into the installation process. NPM comes along with the Node.js. So for NPM, we no need to install anything explicitly. If you have Node, if you have Node.js along with the Node.js, NPM would be installed. So whereas coming to the YARN, we need to install this explicitly with the help of NPM. So the command for that is npm install hyphen hyphen global and yarn. So this is how you need to install the yarn globally. So once you install the yarn globally, so this is about the second point. So installing the yarn. So almost all the commands which we use in the npm would be the similar to the yarn. Okay. So for example, I'm installing npm init. So this is to create the package.json file npm init. I've used for the npm install here. The same thing I will do for the yarn. npm yarn inic hyphen v. Okay, so if you see the time taken to execute this and this is yarn has written this very much quickly. Okay, both will generate the package.json files. If you can see this has generated the package.json file and npm also generated the package.json file. Fine, so the commands are almost all the commands are similarly there are uh, every command is same so coming to the output log so for example if i want to install npm install lodash just i will uh, install some uh, random package so i'm installing npm install so the left side part you can see this is the related to the npm and the right side part i am doing for the yarn so yarn instead of install we'll be using add so add lodash so once i install this so let's uh, verify the difference like uh, output logs. So if you see that in the NPM install, so you, the logs are like a stack trace. So it will show what the NPM is doing behind the screens. It's like a stack trace. Whereas coming to the yarn, so it was visually very much clear to the users and user friendly. So it will tell each and every step what it is going to do. And it will tell the success. And also it will tell the hierarchy of the dependencies. So that's what uh, it's the output file output log file is very much user friendly in terms of yarn. Okay, so coming to the there are a few more commands which are available in the yarn, but it is not available in the NPM. So the those type of commands are like why why is a command. So after why yarn why and you need to mention the command uh, package name. So it means we are asking why this dependency. So then Yarn will return us. It will tell why this dependency exactly we need. Okay. And uh, see here it will state us. It will give more information about the Lodash. Okay. Uh, it's disk space, how much space it has occupied and why this dependency. All this type of information, it would be provided with the help of the Y command. This command is not available in the npm and also one more command called as license list so this command is also available in the yarn but it's not available in the npm so yarn licenses list so it will give all the dependencies so whatever the dependencies available in our project it will give what all the license maintained license so lodash is maintained by mit okay and its vendor url and its vendor name everything would be provided in this manner so it will give the list of license information and its details in detail. So here, 
Y and license list commands are available in YON, but it is not available in NPM. Initially, NPM means node package manager and YON means yet another resource negotiator. NPM came in 2010, okay? Even uh, it has some uh, loopholes and uh, drawbacks. So YON came in 2016 and it has came to overcome all these drawbacks. So that's the reason YARN has some more advantages than NPM. Fine. So coming to the performance part. So NPM installs each and every package which is available in the package.json file one after the other in a sequential order. So it will pick one package. Once the package is downloaded, then only it will pick the another package. So in this way, NPM works. Whereas coming to the YARN, it will not work in the sequential order. It will fetch the packages parallelly and it will install. In, in terms of the performance, the YARN will install the dependencies very faster comparing, comparing to the NPM. So coming to the security differences. So security differences, initially, as we discussed, the NPM came in the earlier stage. So in the earlier stages, NPM was suffered for the performance and security issues a lot. So that's the reason YARN was introduced by Facebook. They have developed this YARN. Facebook was developed the YARN uh, package manager. So they developed this to overcome the performance and security issues. But as on when the NPM is increasing its versions and it is a uh, step by step, it is uh, trying to overcome all its drawbacks. So now both are in a stage that they are providing the equal security uh, leverages. So now, uh, the, these both things will use YARN and NPM uses cryptographic hash algorithm to ensure the integrity of the packages. Okay, that's the main thing we need to understand. So NPM also while installing all the dependencies, it will audit once. So what all the packages are secured or not. So in that way, it will be working. So also NPM has one more uh, like NPX, node package executable. So, in, so usually we do this for the React application. So that is what I'm doing here. So I'm using uh, app name, okay? So I wrote a command called npx node package executable and I'm not installing create react app here. So I'm just running this create react app library and I'm creating app name, a project with the help of this create react app with the help of npx node package executable command. So the equivalent thing in the yarn is like yarn DLX. So this is a new command. So the same thing it performs. Whatever we do in the NP NPX. So the same thing we can achieve here. So like this, we can do this. Okay. Coming to the catchy mechanism. So both have the similar catchy mechanism, but coming to the yarn, it behaves in a di bit different way. Like for example, it will download the dependencies and it will store them in the local disk space. So that from the next time, next time when we are trying to install the same package, even if the internet connection is not there, it doesn't bother. It uh, it will it will pick from this local cache. So that's the reason the performance of installing will be very much easy. The reinstallation is very, uh, it will take very minute seconds. Okay, these are the major differences between npm and yarn. Coming to an additional difference, like additional feature in the yarn is. So let me show you that feature. So that is known as PNP. It's a plug and play. So what does this plug and play exactly does means? So instead of creating the node modules directly, so when you run the yarn install, npm install, we'll be getting a node modules folder directory. So instead of creating that node module directory and leaving all the dependency resolutions to the node.js, this plug and play, what it does is it will generate a pnp.js file and in this js file we will list all the dependency informations so that is what this uh, great feature this is a great feature in the yarn uh, let me show you uh, so because of that what what happens is there are n number of advantages if there is no node modules a huge file size would be reduced and uh, the installation time it would be 70 percent reduced okay so it would be very faster, the installation time. And also the project booting time also increases a lot. So 
these are the points those are the points which we have discussed now so coming to how to implement that pnp is like in the package or json file we need to create this and we need to create this pnp pnp is nothing but plug and play so after this we will not have the node modules folder anymore okay just with the help of this pnp js file this file consists of all the list of dependencies and yarn will be responsible for all these dependencies maintenance and the hierarchy maintenance as well so now there will not be any no, no more node modules with the help of this plug and play this is a new feature so we can try it once so these are the major differences so coming to which package manager to choose so uh, as in all the tutorials they will be telling about the requirement based we need to choose so out of all the differences which we are discussed now we can choose whatever the you know, package manager we want but i i want to state you a point on which package manager to choose if the workflow which your current workflow you are working if you are happy with that go with the npm if you no need any additional tools or great features and you don't bother about the disk space then go with the npm so if you want additional tools and great features and also you have enough space so only you have a limited disk space then you need to go with the yarn so this is the main thing to choose a package managers okay apart from these two we have one more package manager so this is known as uh, this is uh, like a third big fish okay which will combine the best features of both npm and yarn so you can also try this pnpm okay this will have the combination of both best features like npm and uh, yarn best features will be available in this pnp so this is also one more package manager you can try this package manager as well okay uh, these are all the uh, differences between npm and yarn uh, hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos